Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. If you have any doubt, please come down in the section. Or else you can able to join us in the Instagram page, which is in the description. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to cover the taxonomic principles as well as the procedure of classification and nomenclature of insects. So the first one the taxonomy as well as seeing the principles and procedures so it is said to be the basic science of classification for each and year one so based on the subject it can be uh, classified so we can able to design define it as the tracing biological organism or form in order to specify them at particular form so it was first uh, defined by simpson in 1961 who used to have a theoretical study of classification including the basis principles procedure as well as the rules of taxonomic classification so the taxonomy which also includes nomenclature as well as classification and while seeing the systematics of the taxonomy it is used for the study science of study of kind and diversity of organism and the all relation among them so the systematic includes the taxonomic as well as the evolution of the particular classification so while seeing the stages of taxonomy there are around any group of passes through several stages the first one is the alpha taxonomy it is said to be concerned only with the naming as well as the characterization of the species and the beta taxonomy which is used to concerned with the classification of the particular species as well as the gamma classification which is used to concerned with evolutionary relation as well as the phylogeny of the particular insect so while seeing the first basis form of classification it is said to be the ordering of large group of organisms based on certain characteristics specialized into small groups so while seeing the classification there are several points which are used for classifying them or the external structures internal character developmental history physiological data as well as the cytogenic data so these are the things we must need to take as basic for the classification in the taxonomy and the basic and the biological system of classification is called as the hierarchical concept of classification so this was first introduced by Carl von Linnaeus in 1758 so after that a large group of organism is successively subdivided into small groups so these groups are called as the taxa which is a taxon of singular form of the taxonomy in this the insects are most closely resemblance as well as groups and a particular form which is said to be known as the species the species that are more closely resemble are grouped under genus or genera and the all insects which are closely related genera are grouped into families and the closely related families are grouped into orders it's how the classification is said to be done but for additional distinction in large diverse groups and many other categories fall between these major ones was the fact we must need to remember for example we can able to see the yeah, uh, example as a cockroach americana periplanta periplanta americana so which is an also said to be known as american cockroach uh, it is said to be a subphylum below the phylum where a class and a subclass below the class and a suborder below the order as well as the subfamily below the family are said to be common while seeing the taxonomic classification also while seeing the systematic portion of common cockroach which is said to be known as periplanta americana so the first one we are going to see is phylum which is comes under orthopoda and after that it goes to class which is insecta and after that it goes for order dictyoptera and suborder black area and family blatidae and genus periplanata and the final one is the species name which is american it's how the classification of particular insect or organism is said to be done and uh, after that the certain taxonomic categories are obligate where others are optional said to be while seeing the systematic portion of indian bees the first one the kingdom is animalia and the phylum is arthropoda and the class is insect and subclass very chogaira and the order hymenoptera suborder apocrita and subfamily apiodi and family apidae and subfamily apinae and genus apis and species indica so the obligate which is the other optional one while describing the taxonomous so i have given them as the stork so which is said to be an important one in classifying the groups and while others are optional during the classification 
so what are the, the nomenclature and identification so while seeing for nomenclature and identification a name is required for identification of particular organism so there are said to be the two names are used which is said to be a common name as well as the scientific name so while seeing the first about the common name they are said to be in inaccurate because it varies from region to region and country to country and there is no uniformity in naming these organisms so example locust is said to be referring as cicada in european countries as well as normal locust also refer to short horned grasshopper living groups so it's how the name differs from one place to another but uh, scientific name uh, so the common name which is not available for all organisms and uh, example the squash bugs which is present in the cucurbitate plants are represented by many species but there is no common name available for each and every species so it is only available for a large group of order and family so which we came to generally call them as bugs and the same common name is used for insects of different orders example the flies a true fly has only two wings various other insects like mayfly dragonfly are also mentioned as flies as a common name and the homonym so the same name is used for describing two different types of insects for example the bowl worm which is a common term used for more than five species of bowl worm feeding insect and uh, the fifth one is synonym more than one name is denoting a single insect example gram pod borer american bowl worm uh, which is used to denote the helico or palmigera so which is, which is said to be found in different insects but they used to have a same name which is a gram pod um, scientific name which is helicor parmigera but based on the plant they grow they can be termed as gram pod borer and american bowl worm so i have given those picture in this one so while seeing the scientific name the system of naming organism using two words which is said to be in a binomial nomenclature so the if they are named by the tri three names they are said to be known as the trinomial nomenclature if three words are used so the system of naming gives accurate information of the particular insect it is said to be universal and accepted in all parts of the world and the rules regarding the naming of an organism is contained by the international code of Zo zoological nomenclature so the normally two names are given for the scientific name the first name is said to be known as the genetic name and the second one is said to be known as the species name this system of naming is said to be known as the binomial nomenclature this was first discovered by a swedish botanist which is said to be who is said to be known as the carolus linnaeus so please remember this one the person who described the binomial nomenclature is the swedish botanist the carolus linnaeus in 1758 so the names that follow the genetic names are said to be known as the tribal names so the tribal names may be either a species or subspecies name of the particular one for example in hitlers which is a pediculus humanus captus as well as the body rose which is pediculus humanus corpusis so the which can be used to describe the species or subspecies name of the particular louse and the first letter of the genetic name is said to be capital and the first letter of the species and subspecies are said to be always small so don't forget and write it as the wronger one and all the words are said to be latinized or written in italics or it should be written or underlined separately while writing the scientific name and the authority name is written after the species name it always starts with a capital letter and the author name is put in bracket if the taxa has been reclassified or placed in another group for example uh, while seeing the moringa fruit fly we can able the scientific name is kitona distinguma and it is said to be reclassified so the it used to place it in the bracket of maygot which is said to be replaced on so while seeing the identification insects are said to be identified through the expert by comparing the available collection using photographs and pictures by using taxonomic keys so key is said to be a table of statement presenting alternatives as well as describing about the features of the particular organism so the keys are said to be dichotomous the keys are said to be single character which is monothetic key or when it is many character it is said to be known as the polythetic key so the monothetic keys used to have three disadvantages so the organism may be exception for a particular character 
and the chance of er erring is more and if the particular body part is broken or which the key is made then the key cannot be used for classifying that particular insect so the keys are said to be classified based on the evolution in principle as phylogenic as well as the arbitrary key for the particular insect so while seeing the first one of phylogenetic key the key is said to be based on evolutionary relationship of the insect and the group may appear only once in the phylogenetic keys and arbitrary key so the tags or group appear at several places in a key it has more advantages when compared to the phylogenetic key so i have given the lecture notes in description if you have any doubt please comment in the section or else join us in the instagram and ask your doubts so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch you up in next videos